So check this out. Um, we were watching Schultz. Do you know Andrew Schultz? I don't want to get in Andrew Schultz. Andrew Schultz is the worst guy ever. He's this comedian who's using, you know, tricks and algorithms to bust into the game. And he's fooling a lot of people right now, okay, by pretending that he's edgy. Now, Andrew Schultz is going to stick up for our side here, but that doesn't mean we like him. Logan Paul is one of these people who got convinced by the mob that you're not allowed to tell jokes about XXXistention's death. And we got a time code for you. He's going to bring it up. He had Andrew Schultz on his show, Impulsive. And he brings it up and he's like, but that joke about XXX, that was bad, right? And Andrew's like, nah, man, you should be able to tell any joke you want, dog. And then Logan started biting his nails because he's so nervous because in his mind, he was told by the mob, oh, no, 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 that joke was bad. Now, Logan is a guy who's constantly getting berated for saying the wrong thing. But when he saw Adam 22 and all those people go, you can never joke about XXX. He jumped on that bandwagon, and now he's very confused. I want to show you this clip. It's pretty good. What time? 25 minutes. Julio show! 29 minutes, you say? Got it. You know what I'm saying? 25 minutes. Here we go. And Andrew Schultz is so annoying. He's a wigger. Okay. 25 minutes. He's such a wiggy. And uh, he's trying to be so cool on Impulsive. Don't watch this stuff. He parrots a lot of things that we would like. But believe me, he's just trying to make dollars. And then if you really listen, you can hear Logan repeating some of the things that Andrew said when he was on yes. Theo's show. And we've got something funny. big coming for you. Logan Paul got in a fight with Chris D'Elia a while ago. And Logan Paul is now obsessed with Chris D'Elia. It's his favorite comic. We're putting together a big piece on this. Logan Paul is so obsessed with Chris. He's been copying his stuff. But we've showed you that. Um, he's even more obsessed than we know. That's coming soon. So Logan Paul is into stand-up. He goes. Sudden. I'm not kidding. Logan Paul admitted this. Logan Paul goes to the comedy store and watches stand-ups and he dies laughing. He says it's a great place to take a date. I'm not kidding. So watch this. Here is Andrew Schultz or Schultzy. This is, by the way, Bill Schultz's cousin. Yep. What a w small world we live in here. All of our fools have a connection. XXX extension. Watch this. Here we go. You'll like this one. Start from the same place. The right. goal is always to make you laugh. Yeah. Like, if you want us to not tell the joke, don't laugh at all. All these comics just parrot each other now and add on to each other's. You know, it's so funny. These comics have no guts. None at all. And every once in a while, they come out of their shell saying, we don't want to be censored. We want to be able to tell the jokes. Then tell them. So what comics do is they're being told no by everybody. So they half censor themselves. And then they do a tiny little bit of edgy stuff. And then they complain about the censorship as if they're freedom fighters. Like I was saying at the beginning, you are still scared. You're still part of that industry and you're still obeying all their rules so andrew schultz now is walking around town and he's taking a little speech from this guy a little speech from big j a little speech from this guy a little speech from this guy and now andrew schultz is campaigning this comics should have freedom of expression man a joke always comes from the same place we're trying to make people let how many times have you heard this one before from a comic hey man a joke is a joke now they might P uh, Patrice O'Neill started this. A joke all comes from the same place. We're trying to make you laugh. It's funny. Sometimes they don't work out. We can't be blamed. And it's like exhausting. And these guys aren't even that edgy to be in this conversation daily. Like if anything, I should be having this conversation daily. I don't bore you with this. I'm being censored. I'm being censored. You're not being censored. You're fearful. You're afraid of the industry. And what you're doing is you're testing the water by saying this stuff about how you don't want to be censored so that you could see the reaction and you could get people to go, oh, okay, we won't censor. You're asking for permission by constantly, every fucking show a comic does, they're talking about how they're, oh, people are so tight, I'm so censored. Just say what you want to say and tell them to fuck off then. 
Stop talking about it and just do. So here he is, Andrew Schultz, taking everything that you've heard other comics say, mashing it up and pretending it's his own thought. Listen to this. If you want us to not tell the joke, don't laugh at all. Right? Right. Like the opposite of love mm. is not hate. The opposite of love is apathy. Yeah. Right? That's yeah, what yes. people miss. It's like, if I tell a joke and you're Fuck booing, you. I got something. Yeah. I haven't made it funny yet. Yeah. But I got it. <laughs> I got you know it. what I'm saying? Yeah. I got you. Because you got a feeling. You, that's yeah, it. You, yeah. I gave up. A, a feeling Logan, happens. Right, right, right. Now I'm going to make it silly Logan enough and we can have fun. Yeah, yeah, but that's it. exactly what I'm looking for is the reaction. If you just sit there and give me no reaction, every comic. Like the black kids God, we'll and I need to punch that up. Yeah, mm. yeah, I need yeah, to get that a little bit better. What about what about if a joke is... is So you're saying it's impossible to cross the line, but what if a joke is is not... A joke and it's just not funny. I remember there was that one female comic a while back, maybe like a month ago, and she was making fun of uh, XXX. Oh yeah, Dina. Hashem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that too. Did like, I fucking hated that. <gasps> Did, that still works for you? Yeah, it was a good joke. Really? Yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all, man. It I, was I a good joke. Oh! <laughs> you hate? I fucking hated that. Because you were told he to. He doesn't even know what he's thinking. You don't thinking. even know. So Adam22 <laughs> kind of led this charge, right? With the XXX thing as far yeah. as... Adam22 tweets when this joke was made about XXX. And he was like, this is uncalled for. It will not stand. And then people like Logan trying to impress Adam22. Oh, yeah, I hate it too. How could you even care? You don't even know who XXX is. There's no way you knew who he was. <laughs> Let's watch this again. This is so sick to me. But just because Andrew Schultz is sticking up for our philosophy here does not mean we side with him. We hate him still. Even more than we hate Logan, okay? Promise me this, guys. Pinky swear on this. We're not... We don't like Ad uh, Andrew Schultz. We swear. Like a month ago, and she was making fun of uh, XXX. Oh, yeah. Dina. Hashem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I remember that, too. Did, like, I fucking hated that. Did... That still works for you? Yeah. It was a good joke. Really? Yeah. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all, man. I, it was I a think... good joke. And I and I, I spoke to X like, but you know, I, I, I would DM X a little bit. Uh, give it to you. And I still thought it was a good joke mm. because it had nothing to do with X. Like what I hated is when people tried to justify the joke by X's life. Mm. Right? Like, oh, he did these X. things and he was accused of, you know, beating. It doesn't matter what he did or didn't do. The joke is about Venmo. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do. It's like the joke was, what was it? Um, you know, I was Logan. watching, you know, I heard about the story. Look about Logan. XXX, you know, Tentacion. And said. Logan is one of these idiots. And there's a lot of people like Logan where if they had a certain idea in their head and then it's, you know, uh, discredited by someone else, they have a very hard time coming to grips with that. Rogan has this problem as well mm -hmm. sometimes where if he's solid on something in his mind and then somebody challenges that. You could see it in their face. They're distraught. They need, uh, and not Rogan as much, but Logan Paul is definitely one of these guys who needs the answer to everything. He must have an answer to it all. And if he doesn't have an answer, it's driving him nuts. You know, there are a lot of people like that. They need a definite answer. There is no definite answer to stuff like this. So you can see Logan Paul is getting really distraught here. He's he like, starts uh, chewing yeah. away at his fingers here. Watch you this. You can uh, physically roughly. see every feeling Logan feels right on his face. Yeah. That's why he's so interesting. He's such a fucking like on idiot. on the uh, Theo Vaughn podcast, yeah. every single time they would say the word gay, his whole body would go. Yeah. He really is very weird because he's got agents and managers telling him the opposite of what all these comics are telling him. So he's very confused. That, um, you know, I was watching, you know, I heard about the story about XXX, you know, Tentacion, he was, uh, brought $50,000 to go buy a car and he was killed and robbed. And he's like, if that isn't the best joke, if that isn't the best example of Venmo or commercial for promotion Venmo, or advertisement, yeah. whatever it yeah, is, yeah. you know what I mean? And, uh, she's just doing like a mis misdirect, but the point is it's a joke, right? It's nothing. It's not going to bring X back. It's not going to keep yeah. X dead. Like he's a joke yeah. and it, jokes are not for everybody. Yeah. Like if we can have Holocaust jokes, yeah, yeah, if you I, could have 9-11 jokes, I just think... These guys are sitting here like, wait, we no, we can't have Holocaust jokes or 9-11 jokes. What are you talking about? <laughs> Logan, Logan is going to say even worse stuff. simultaneously wants to be accepted yes. by all these comedian types, but also be a mainstream Yes, he also wants actor. to be Jojo Siwa, where he's selling bows to 11-year-olds. 
and so his agents and managers, his this, team is, is telling him every day, you can't say, don't say anything, it'll be. And then the comedians are so free, and Logan is torn, he just doesn't understand, and he's not smart enough to make his own decisions. Check this out. If we can have Holocaust jokes, yeah, yeah, but if you I, could have 9-11 jokes. I just think... I don't know. I don't know what because like you're right. Jokes are not for everyone, and I am like a I'm a I'm a very open minded person. But that one just right. fucking struck me the the wrong way. Because you probably really love X. He yeah. yeah he well, I, 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 I think it's it, it comes down to like I like what you said about action, right? If you don't like the joke, don't laugh. And I think if you don't like if somebody really crossed your line, yeah. Which I'm how could that? Po I'm sitting here watching <laughs> this going. How could it possibly ever bother you? How could it possibly bother you? How? Unless you got to be faking it. And for Logan Paul, a guy who's, you know, favorite artist is, uh, I will remember when will you still call me Superman? I'm alive and where will you be there holding my hand? That's Logan <laughs> Paul's favorite band. Superman. How does that song go? Oh, yeah. Kryptonite. I took a drip onto the dark side of the moon. I tried to get you to do that for your karaoke. Oh, couple get shows me that for you today. You rejected it. We'll do it today. Nice. I thought it was Eminem Superman you were trying oh, to get. Oh, no, me. no, no, no. That's Logan's favorite band. So, what is his business? I just couldn't take any jokes about access. Why? Because that was what was going on on Twitter that day. And everybody was saying that they hated it too. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm one of you. Not yeah, give them you don't, your yeah, view. Yeah, don't yeah. give them your eyeballs. Because well, I, I, I didn't know who she was before yeah. that. So watch it. Nice famous. Yeah. The big. I think the big. Ooh, like you said, that bothered. He goes, I didn't know who this Dina chick was before that joke. And Schultz goes, Now she's famous. And Logan goes, ah, That bothers him. How could it possibly bother you? And it doesn't bother him. He's fake yeah. getting bothered. Well, by no, it, I, I, think. I I think we're witnessing something new here. I think or, Logan Paul is such an interesting character yeah. to study. Well, Honestly, let me tell you something because nuts. this this lends itself towards understanding the outrage stuff. I don't think people are necessarily faking. I think they're weak minded people who let themselves. They're sponges. They let themselves be convinced. So Logan Paul, when he was on Twitter that day and there was all that outrage about Dina, it was he's his mind is so weak that it convinced him. It fully convinced him that this was the way to go to be outraged. And now that he's hearing that there are other people who aren't outraged, he's very confused. So I think when it comes to these people, you go, how could they they're faking, they're lying. I don't know if they're lying. I think they're just weak people. They allow themselves to be convinced by the mob. You know, they allow themselves to be peer pressured into believing this. You can see it in Logan's eyes. That doesn't look like the eyes of a faker. Look at his face right now. This looks like the eyes of a man who was, wow, I'm really pulled and led down these paths by people's words. I don't even think for myself, do I? And that's the fear that you're seeing in his eyes today. Let's, uh, I want to finish this clip up. Watch when he says, uh, he goes, uh, when he gets mad. Watch. Is to not yeah, give them you your yeah, view. Yeah, don't yeah. give them your eyeballs. Because I, I, I didn't know who she was before yeah. that. So, now she's famous. Yeah. The big, I think the big, like you said, Ooh, the biggest lesson that. out of it is if you don't like it, don't watch it. Yo, there was a, there was a part yeah, of, it, the, the, the thing you got to miss it here is like, everybody thinks their feelings matter. Like your feelings don't mean shit. Yours don't mean shit. Mine don't mean shit. Yours don't mean shit. Like we we were raised in this weird time where if we complained <laughs> about like our teachers, right? Our parents would go, oh, let's get those teachers fired. And then it got that's, in our heads that like when we complain, it means anything. That's, it's the stupidest wait, idea. You ever. were raised with a dad when you complained about your teacher. He said, let's get that teacher fired. I think he's talking about the younger generation, but that's but he just said like we. an exaggeration. What do you mean we? If I yeah, complained I about the teacher, my dad always sided with the teacher. Not me. He knew me. He could see right through me. Who would side with the kid? Man, that teacher must be corrupt. Let's get them fired. What? Your son is seven. You know, your son's a maniac. And then it got in our heads that like when we complain, it means anything. It's the stupidest idea ever. You can feel yeah. shitty about something. That's okay. Mm. You hold on to that shit. That's life. You I know what I mean? I, like, I remember when he was making jokes. Because like <laughs> my biggest thing is I went into it trying. I'm like, let me experiment with this. Let me find a way to get offended by it. Right. And I watched the whole episode. 
And there is a long chunk of it where cool. it goes into heroin addicted whites. Yeah. And that hits home for me oh, because I spent talking 10 years. about Dave Chappelle before. Oh, uh, Dave Chappelle. Okay. Look at Logan. The Logan is really, and this sets Logan down a spiral. The whole episode, he's in a bad mood now because he's been, uh, I don't know what you would call this. Yours is a fucking opiate addict. Right. Mm. There was not was one. Was it like oxy? Oxy and heroin. Yeah. There was not one Shot point. It, no, it? No, I didn't no, bang it. But, it. but yeah. still, By the yeah, way, like this the- show is about four times bigger than Rogan now. <laughs> For real. Especially the audio only. Uh, All right, no, there like they were. It only has 175,000 views. That's a lot that of big. fucking views. Well, that's Andrew Schultz. Look at this. You go to Impulsive. They've got two million subs. Oh, wait, they don't. They lied. Wow, they said we're approaching 2 million subs. They've got 1742. It's not approaching. That ain't approaching. I guess that means we're approaching 2 million subs at some point. Wow, look at that. All right, I'm getting out of light news. I got people to harass, if that's okay. I got fools to harass. Okay, we're out of light news here today. Thank you for allowing me to speak my mind. Yeah, yeah, that's light news. Well, I'm sorry for even saying something (laughs) like that. That is so disgusting.